Hello. Hello, hello. Um, it's little O's second birthday coming up. So, I saw this life of the party from American Crafts and I thought, ooh, I could rather fancy that for little O's birthday. I mean, there's quite a few pinks in it, but there's also quite a few blues. And it's not just birthday. It looks like it's like New Year and anniversary and all sorts of different celebrations. So, yeah, I just I just thought we'd give this a go for O's birthday. Um, haven't got any photos yet. What I have done is I've done a YouTube, uh, not YouTube, there's an Insta reel where I've made these wax seals, hopefully looking like buttons, uh, balloons even. And I will insert seal uh, reel here whilst I open this packet. <laughs> American Crafts, we've got cut parts. Um, oh, time to party. He is actually having a Mickey Mouse themed birthday party, so I'm thinking the like you know, the brighter colours. Oh, I love that. And then you've got your branding strips with your words on. There is open stock in this. Oh, this is fab, I love it. Um, there is open stock in this as well, but I got a picked up the paper pad, black and cream stripe, loads of tags. Loving that stripe. <gasps> Love that. I like these banners. See me cut it, fussy cut in there, or you know, scanner cut. Um, nice pink paper. These are a bit like Jen Hadfield, they aren't they? Uh, two by two. Yeah, two by two. Um, squares. With stuff on. Oh, grid paper. Never go wrong with the grid paper. New Year. Loving that. Nice bit of peach. Love that. I just love it. Oh, I think it's fab. Now you see, bright red, that's going to do well for his Mickey Mouse birthday. So yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. And then we're back to the beginning. So it's two sheets of each in there. So loving that. So I've also got the puffies and the foam. So it's like good look. This is going to be good for cards as well. Like good luck. So yeah, I think it's thank you in the ephemera as well. This ephemera pack is frames and tags. And some gorgeous frames in here. Some vellum frames as well. So we are going to have... I've also bought... I thought I had stamps. I thought I picked the stamps up. I don't have the photos yet for little O's second birthday party because it hasn't happened yet. But I thought I'd plan a page and go from there. I had an idea and then I thought I actually want this to be stripped for journaling. So we are going to move the frames. Oh, we're probably going to that one up on some foam because separate it from the colour underneath which is the same colour. Do you think of that? Let's pop these on. Something like that. And then 
We're going to do a four inch strip of this. You know what? Two sheets of it, so it doesn't matter if I use squares that I might think about using for something else. I really do think I need a new trimmer because I'm struggling getting straight edges with this. So that's going to be here. And then my balloons that I've made. down here and we'll do something with a bow there now these frames so that's going to be up on 3d foam because it's blending into the background a lot and I may do shaker on one or two of them which is a whole new thing for frames for me right we're gonna leave that there that's kind of like the basis for the page. That's where we're starting. And I've got the photos. We can then build up from there. See you soon. Bye. So just going to finish the page off now. The photos are printed. Um, the beginning stuff was all recorded before I was ill. I then got COVID. Um, I'm just getting over it. Um, and voice is nearly back to normal. Yay. Still coughing. But voice is nearly, is nearly back to normal. I'm showing you taking all the as adhesive off the back of these because I put them up on different, they're all at different levels. So one of them's flat to the page. I've got one on a single layer of the two mil deep foam, another on a single layer of the one mil deep. And then two of them are on the one and the two together or the two and the two together. So just to give them more different heights. I had measured the frames and printed the photos off to the size for the frames and then just use some adhesive on the frames to then stick the photos in i haven't gone with the shakers because i had so many pictures that i wanted to scrap just sticking down with some wet glue now so you can use wet glue or like a double a strong double-sided adhesive I, strips roll kind of thing um sorry i'm losing my words at the minute and then just putting a blob of glue on to bring the strings together to hopefully finish off the look that they look like balloons and sticking the happy day banner over them now i do decide not to go with the extending out left and right across the page with the two inch square um, word pieces <laughs> mainly because I'd stuck the happy day down a bit lower than I meant to originally everything come down a little bit so I've ended up not putting them there and I really don't add much more to this now just a couple of the puffies but thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe and take a look at the other hey little magpie creative team member videos have a good day bye